Is repetition the mother of all learning? And if it is, how does it relate to your marketing materials? Hi, I'm Mark Bullock. I'm the co-founder of videosocials.net and a phone blogger.net. And what I'm discussing is, or what I'm bringing up is, we know from a long history that five to eight impressions, as an example, is what it takes to get through to people, et cetera. But we, what we don't necessarily understand is, is that social media, email, whatever means by which you're distributing your library of content has an extremely short memory. In addition to that, I'll give you emails as an example. So you create a piece of content, written, audio, or video, and you send it out via email, either through a newsletter or a video postcard, whatever the case may be. If you've hit it out of the park, maybe 20% of the people that receive that email will actually open it. So why is it sitting that you sitting back in your archive, on your website, on YouTube, wherever it is, gathering dust? If it's something that's still valuable today, you need to send it out again. You need to repost it. You need to bring attention to it again. How do you do that? It's very, it's very simple, but it do, does depend on what platforms that you're, that you're sending it out to. I would, in the case of an email, I might change the subject line to a different subject line than what you originally sent. Perhaps the excerpt could be reworded as, reworded as well. But just remember, 80% at best, and 90 or 95% at worst, never read it or watched it or listened to it in the first place. So even if you put it out with the same subject line or the same title, the same excerpt, you're, you're basically, you know, and, and even if they do, this is, this is something that, that always amazed me too, because you send something out and then you don't get around to sending it out again until a year later there's a very good chance that even the few people that actually or the few percentage of your total audience that actually consume that piece of content, even remembered that they did. And then if they go to consume it again, they go, oh, yeah, that rings a bell. Oh, that's right. That's reinforcement. It's not badgering them. What is badgering them? Sending the same thing to them multiple times a day or every day for, for a period of time. No, you don't want to do that. What is the balance point between being re repetitive and getting it out there so that it's valuable to them versus, you know, you just wanting to get it out a whole, whole bunch of times. That's going to depend on your audience and it's going to depend on what your content is. But I would think in terms of maybe sending it out for the first time and then two or three months later, sending it out maybe once a month again for two or three times. And then looking, if it's truly evergreen content, there's no reason that it can't go out two or three more times yeah. next year, as an example. So obviously this is for people who have a, a library of content that they're working with. But if you have two dozen pieces of content, you're about 99.9% .9 ahead of the curve because very few people have that much content. If you're one of our clients, either through phone blogger or through video socials, it's very likely that you have that. And we have many that have literally hundreds of pieces of content that are in, if they're not being repetitively sent out in a thoughtful way, are just collecting dust. And please don't let your content collect dust. You went to all the trouble to create it. It's valuable for your audience. Make sure that they have another chance to get to see it, read it, or listen to it. Hope you found this valuable. If you did, there's lots more at videosocials.net forward slash academy. And again, I'm Mark Bullock, the co-founder of videosocials.net and phoneblocker.net. Have a great day.